Yung aming mga program officers wala yung ilalim. Kayo yung ilalim nun. Um, all the volunteers are, are, are the workforce of the anak buhay teams. And we have, um, hindi lang siguro sa pating panahon, pero we have done exceedingly well in the, in the few months that we have been in operation. Um, we have been doing education programs. Um, Mahapon lang was the graduation of our second batch of tutors uh, for our Angat Basa and Angat, uh, Angat Pilan centers. We have um, 129 community learning hubs all over the country. And um, the UP College of Education has been helping us together with a lot of many other education NGOs um, we have been partnering with. Um, alam niyo naman yung mga, yung mga reports kung saan nasa tayo sa education, di ba? Uh, there's a World Bank report that saying 90% ang ating learning poverty. There's a PISA report, report which says na nasa bottom tayo uh, among 79 countries as far as reading is concerned. Second to the last tayo sa math and science. So, para sa amin, kaya ko siya kumikwento sa inyo kasi that's the direction that we want to take. Uh, we want to continue being engaged. We want to continue moving. Um, we want to continue the movements we've started during the campaign. But there are a lot of avenues to do that. And yung sinusukat namin yung progress ng ating mga estudyante, sobrang overwhelming. Halimbawa, some of the students started at a baseline of 30%. Now we're at 90% in just over two months. We've also been building, imagine, kung makabuo pa tayo ng napakarami, di ba? Ang dami natin matutulungan. Um, I think you already know that when I was still Vice President, we have been building dormitories across the country. Uh, we've, we've continued doing that. Um, we, we just finished one in Infanta Quezon. Uh, the, 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 the dormitory in Infanta Quezon is inside the campus of the South Luzon um, State University. Um, and yung mga nakatira sa ating dormitory I, I are members of the Atta and, and Linata tribes. And what's, what's, so, um, what's so beautiful about this is that most of them are the first in their family to enter college. So with the dormitories, hindi sila kailangan maglihat ng napakalayo uh, para makapag-aral. Uh, we also just finished one in Lago, in Camarines Norte, inside the Lago National High School. We're doing one now in President Rojas Town in the province of Capiz. Um, so tuloy tuloy yun. Yung Bayan Nihan Ipan Suta, you've heard about that. Uh, pero inumpisahan natin yung Bayan Nihan Ipan Suta as, a, as part of our COVID response operations. Pero now that the COVID cases are down, hulaan nyo kung ano yung, ano yung focus ng Bayan Nihan Ipan Suta now. It's mental health. Uh, dahil ang haba ng atin, um, na-realize natin it wasn't intentional at first. But even when we were doing COVID response operations, we've been getting a lot of calls um, of people wanting to do mental health consultations. And because we have, we have a long line of patients waiting for consultations already, uh, we've been partnering with so many We've been partnering with so many groups, including psychiatrists, psychologists, guidance counselors, psychology associations. So, kung meron po dito, kung meron dito na um, willing to partner with us, uh, we are in great need. Um, very recently, we just signed a MOA with CEFAM. I, I, I don't know if you've heard of CEFAM. Uh, we just um, signed a MOA with them, and they're also helping us with the consultations. So it's been, it's been very, very fulfilling for all of us. Pero ang gusto sana namin, kasama pa din namin kayo. Because a lot of our kababayans are really, really, really need help. So um, disaster preparedness, disaster relief and rehabilitation, we've been doing that. Pero yung community engagement is a new pillar for our buhay. It was not there when I was vice president. Pero ngayon, nilagay na namin siyang isang pillar kasi ang imagination namin, lahat tayo gagalaw. Lahat tayo gagalaw kasi um, 
when I was in the U.S., we consulted a lot of experts uh, as um, of the text and misinformation. And all of the experts we've, we've consulted, um, I'm, I'm working with um, board member Jason Gonzalez here. Halos lahat na na-consult natin. Talagang ang assessment nila kung ano yung resulta ng years of misinformation. Talagang yung value system natin, yung belief system natin, na iba na. So, sana pagtulong-tulungan natin, maibalik siya sa tama. And we can do that by, you know, extending kindness and compassion to everyone. Uh, napakaraming pwedeng gawin. Um, aside from alat buhay, we're concentrating also on misinformation. And board member Jason is on top of that. Um, yung, yung ating organization in charge of that is Build Filipinas. And I know, for a fact, I know for a fact that Al and Joy were amongst our very first um, supporters of Bill Filipinas. So, maraming maraming salamat. Um, hindi ko na po masasabi yung detalye ng lahat, pero ang gusto ko lang ipaabot na it's one of the things we're giving a lot of time and effort on now. Uh, yung disinformation part. Um, the Jason has been a tremendous source of support and leadership for um, in what we are doing. We, we try to create a core group already. And with the core group, yon, may representatives of universities, may representatives from the church, may representatives from business. Kasi ang, par ang paniniwala po natin, dapat tayo lahat yung gumagala. And related to that, I know marami sa inyo triggered masyado. Uh, mula nung kampanya hanggang ngayon. Then again, ito lang yung sasabihin ko paminsan, hindi naman paminsan, all the time, kailangan labanan natin yung, yung disinformation. Pero, pero kailangan we have to fight right. We have to fight smart. Um, nung nandun po ako sa Harvard, um, I, I, I met Jonathan Ong. Ewan ko lang kung nilala niyo si Jonathan Ong. Jonathan Ong is a, uh, is a sociologist na marami ng studies na ginawa on this information in the Philippines. And one of the system, kasi it is only them na papakinggan tayo ng tao. Pero kung gagawin din kasi natin yung ginagawa nila, hindi talaga siya nakakatulong. And all the researchers, may nagsoy, si Chef nag, nagsoy, <laughs> marami, marami, marami naman. Marami yung ganyan, pero siyempre pag-trigger tayo, nagagalit tayo, di ba? Ako tingin ko okay na magalit. Para sa akin, okay na labanan yung disinformation, pero huwag yung natin gagawin yung pinagawa nila. Dahil um, nakakadagdag tayo sa problema, hindi tayo nakakadagdag sa solusyon. So ang hope po natin, if ang atbuhan becomes the largest volunteer network, Unti-unti mag-change natin yung hearts ng mga tao. Um, that's also the reason why, kung naalala nyo, during the Ateneo Pasasalamat Rally, nung, when I announced that ang atuhay um, is going to be the biggest volunteer network, yung plano po namin nun is to encourage all the volunteer groups to convert themselves into ang atuhay chapters. That was the original intent. Pero as we were, um, as we were moving along, Naisip po namin, we've been promoting, we've been advocating for a more empowering environment. Kasi yung paniniwala natin, it is only through an empowered citizenry that government will be put to task. Diba? Government will be forced to become more accountable, but more empowered ang citizenry. So naisip namin na huwag na natin gawin ng mga angat buhay chapters, but to encourage all the volunteer groups to form themselves into independent volunteer organizations. Um, kasi ang naisip natin, kung, kung, kung chapters lang siya ng angat buhay, parang ginagawa lang ng mga groups yung ginagawa ng angat buhay. Pero kung independent groups, pag gusto niyo yung gawin yung angat buhay programs, we will be partners. Pero you can also do a lot of programs on your own. Lalong-lalo na yung mga nasa provinces na iba-iba din yung mga demands ng communities where they are in. So right now, we have a lot of volunteer groups converted into um, independent 
and independent organizations already not similarly situated. Yung iba po advanced na sa iba, ang iba na accredited na sila sa SEC. Yung iba papunta pa lang doon. But we are encouraging um, so that we can share our partners with you. We'll partner in many of our groups. Then we want to expand more because it is the only way to do it. Kaya um, natuwa ako nang pumasok ako parang the same fire that I saw during the campaign is still there. Um, yung passion ng doon na rin. Siguro mas ano lang, siguro less fierce lang tayo ngayon dahil wala tayong kalapan. Ang gusto kang sabihin, wala tayong hindi ito race to the finish line. Pero mahaba itong trabaho na gagawin natin. Pero to capture the hearts and minds of, of our fellow Filipinos. So, um, it will be a difficult task ahead, but I am very hopeful. Um, I, I, have been, I have been accepting a lot of invitations to speak abroad. A lot of them are with regards to disinformation. In fact, next month, papunta ako sa Bangkok to attend a disinformation summit. I've also, I've also received invitations. Babalik po ako sa US in October, pero hindi na ako ganun katagal mawawala. Kasi hindi na Harvard yung babalikan ko, but I've been in invited to speak sa Yale, sa Yale, sa University of Berkeley. Makakatulang ito sa akin. Makakatulang ito sa akin para lumawak yung ating networks. Natututo tayo sa kanila with best practices. Hindi ko alam kung sino dito yung Facebook friends ko, but I've posted about my recent trip to Scandinavia. Uh, Kinenip ako kung ano yung mga nakita ko doon na talaga napapasana all na lang ako. Uh, Pagsala sa bawat uh, pagkakataon. Ang tingin ko, dapat aspiration natin. Yung nakikita natin doon. Um, I am in awe of the fact na a lot of the countries um, in the Scandinavian region are doing so well as far as governance is concerned. Para kasi siyang domino effect eh. Pag maayos yung governance, maayos yung education.